If you are experiencing foundation issues, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. The Coach John Limbaugh Coach's Corner brought to you this morning by Lori Darlings. And uh, they've got karaoke on Friday night. You're off tonight. You going to make it to the karaoke? If I make it to the karaoke, they may never have it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can get some great food at Lori Darlings, including this weekend, every weekend. It's all you can eat fish night, Friday and Saturday nights. Uh, all you can eat fish and uh, two sides for just $12.99. So check it out. Lori Darlings, sponsor of the Coach John Limbo Show. Got the first win last weekend. Um, thank the Lord. We needed it bad. Uh, John Dalton Pate had an outstanding game for he the did. Uh, John Dalton's been playing hard every ball game and, and um, got a couple picks for us. Uh, got a touchdown run and uh, tackled well. So he had a really good game. You get behind early, but uh, as we talked about, finishing is the big deal. Absolutely. Well, you know, we have a um, Levi uh, Phillips comes in there and makes a, a big kick for us, about a, a 30-something yarder. And uh, then we get the offense to, to moving and the defense buckles down. And, and um, we had a really good game. Had a good game plan, stuck to it. And it was just nice to see. I, I'll tell you, I told others I felt like the, the Israelites, you, you know, and, <laughs> and that bondage, you know, we were so long in between wins and, you know, like let my people go. So we finally got that win. And hopefully I wear off to the races now doing, doing some good yeah. things. Uh, the field goal kicker in any classification in high school football is very important. Very important. And uh, that was a key point for you to get that field goal. Well, the thing about Levi, I'm, if, it, if Levi continues to develop and work, he's only in the ninth grade. So if Levi continues to develop and work, I really believe he's going to be a, a, a 1A kicker, not just play at the next level. I believe he'll be a 1A kicker. He can really do uh, uh, great. And he kicks from 40, 45 yards regular. Uh, out there at practice, and, and that was just a 30-something yard. I think it was 32 yards. But um, he could kick it from just about any, you know, anywhere on the field. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited about him, and, and he's going to do a great job for us for many years to come. But if he continues to go to camp and continues to work, he'll, he'll go to the next level. Defensively, you give, give up the early touchdown, mm -hmm. but pretty salty after that. Absolutely. Coach Reed had those guys in place, and, and they were ready to go, and, and, and they buckled up and, and didn't give up anymore. You know, and Coos has got a couple of good uh, uh, players. Uh, we were really, um, you know, afraid of a couple of their ball players, but our defense did what they were supposed to do and handled it well. Your quarterback played pretty well all night, too. Yeah, Blake, uh, he got 160 yards passing on the night, had a touchdown run on a, on a play-action boot, and uh, he really looked good. He, he was on target. And the thing about what people don't understand is he was playing with a sore shoulder and a sore elbow. Uh, so in the real town game, so he he was playing hurt and uh, played very very well. After the win over Central Lacusa County, the first uh, win of the season for Fayetteville, uh, you're off this weekend. We'll come back and talk about what you do in the off week and uh, get you set for next week with Coach John Limbaugh right after this. Hot under the collar because your basement is full of water? Call a local company you can trust. Ox Foundation Solutions. We use the most advanced water management system to stop water from invading your basement for good. Things feeling a little uneven at home? Ox Foundation Solutions will fix your uneven concrete sidewalk, driveway, or basement in no time. Ox Foundation Solutions has the best plan to keep your home safe. If you are experiencing any issues with your sidewalks, basement, crawl space, or foundation, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. Not getting a good night's sleep? Come into King's Mattress Outlet in Sylacauga and let us help you get that good night's sleep you deserve. We carry the best quality mattresses at the best prices. From Restonic, King Cole, and Park Place. Eurotop Queen mattresses start at $199. Check out our Restonic Cabot Eurotop mattress with 1,000 individually pocketed coils. Marvelous middle for back support and comfort gel memory foam. King's Mattress Outlet in Sylacauga. Best quality at the best prices. Fayetteville, after the big win over Central Acusa County last Friday night, off this week, and it comes at a good point in the season, doesn't it? Absolutely. We needed a break. Uh, we've never had one before. We've always played straight through, and I've never been a big believer in bye weeks and things like that, but I'm starting to believe in it. It's pretty good. Uh, bumps and bruises kind of be able to heal a little bit, too? Well, we've, uh, we've been hit by the injury bug this year, but like I said, Brady Ritchie came back from the first game of the year where he was injured. He came back um, uh, last Friday to have 80 yards rushing. Really did a great job for us, Brady did, but he's back. You know, we lost Darren Cook for the year. Yeah. He won't, he won't That's a big loss, too. A huge loss. He's supposed to have surgery Monday. 
a huge loss uh, for us. But we, we have another one called the Urshry. Uh, about three years ago, two years ago, no, I think it was three years ago, he hurt himself in baseball and had a, a steel cleat hit him in the in his sternum mm -hmm. and it made that sternum protrude. And that's given us problems. We've had it padded up, but uh, the other day in practice he hit hard and bruised it and, and it bruises uh, everything up under their lungs and all like that. And so he's, you know, having trouble breathing. He's going to the doctor Monday. So he's probably out for the rest of the year. Other than that, we're at full strength. Everybody's back. Everybody's getting healthy. And the week's been good for us. Uh, what do you do? Uh, I know it changed your strategy a little bit with an off week right. here. Well, we took Monday off and let the kids have it. The uh, coaches used it for a film day. And um, first day, we watched film on Coosin and went to the practice field. Uh, yes, we watched film on Holy Spirit and, and then went to the practice field. Uh, today we're going to watch a little more Holy Spirit film and go to practice. So it gives you a chance to get in the film room a lot, and it gives a chance for people to heal. And we've had some really fun, energetic practices this week. The kids have really been into it, so it's been a great week for us. Holy Spirit, the opponent, opponent a week from Friday night. We'll talk more about that uh, next week on the show. But, okay. uh, you know, uh, Fatball, uh, with uh, such a large support group from the community, and uh, what does that mean to a team when you got a real vocal crowd supporting you? Well, that means everything in the world. When you can hear those fans behind you cheering, and uh, the thing about Fatball, you know, uh, I believe we should be sitting at three and one right now. Um, uh, you, you know, we, we should have had some more in the win column, but our fans are still mm -hmm. supporting us. They're always there to support. They're not negative. They're always positive. Our kids are very much loved, and, and uh, it's, it's great to have that support because these people come on the road. They'll follow us on the road, and they're fantastic. Who are a couple of guys that have just kind of – been under the radar this year, uh, but they're consistent week in and week out? I would say the five guys on our offensive line, uh, you know, in our defensive line, you know, linemen don't get that notoriety and, and that, that love that a lot of the skilled guys get. Uh, so we've had some uh, guys on the, that front line doing a great job. I think Tanner Harry, the last couple of games, has really come out and uh, he plays tackle for us and, and, and defensive end, and he's done a great job there. Really appreciate his his effort, his work, and and uh, we have you know a, a couple more. I think one uh, that, that really goes on the radar is Lucas Bird. He's a senior for us, and, and Lucas wasn't able to play that first game. He had mono, mm -hmm. and we fought everything this year. But he came back, and he's really playing hard and playing strong for us, and gives us a lot of pressure on that defensive line, and we can run behind him on the offensive line. Coach John Limbaugh brought to you this morning by Laurie Darlings in downtown Fayetteville, Alabama. Uh, finally this morning, we don't get to talk about this very often, but uh, you surround yourselves with guys that are, are uh, of, uh, of like spirit and, and not just fellow coaches, but are, are friends and comrades. Absolutely. Our coaching staff is really family. Uh, we care for each other. We love each other a lot. Uh, you know, Coach Mar Reed's a great friend. And, but he's a great coach. He's been doing this for a lot of years. He's very knowledgeable about the game and does a great job organizing and, and, and taking care of that defense, coordinating everything there. And, uh, you know, we have a great, great staff. Love those guys the best. And great volunteer staff as well. Yeah. Do, do, does the offensive coordinator or defensive coordinator, they present their game plan to you and, uh, for you to look at prior to the week's action? Well, I'm the offensive coordinator, so I present that I, myself. I guess that starts with you, doesn't it? <laughs> but our defensive coordinator does. He shows me what he wants to, to do. And, and uh, I've completely turned that over to him. I don't, I don't touch the defense whatsoever. Uh, I'll let him make all the decisions because I trust him that much. All right. Coach John Limbaugh, our guest this morning, the Wolves, over Central Lacusa County last week. They're off this week. Holy Spirit uh, next Friday night. Coach, we'll see you next Friday morning. I look forward to it. Coach John Limbaugh brought to you this morning by Lori Darlings in downtown Fayetteville, Alabama. More Daybreak right after this.